up today, though, the countdown is really on now. It's just two more days until Thanksgiving. I can't believe it. Are you <laughs> set? Do you know what you're going to be serving or eating? Chances are you're planning on a smaller group and something probably less formal. That's true. Christina Vanni is a culinary expert, and she joins us now with last minute ideas for all of you who are still working on that menu, I included. Hi, Christina. <laughs> Hello, how are you doing? We're doing well, so good to see you. I think everybody is in this boat, maybe. I mean, everyone I know is, that's for sure. Um, in this kind of like, we're two days away from Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. what's the menu gonna be? So I, I think you've got some good last minute ideas for, for anyone who's in that same situation. Absolutely. And you know what the good thing is this year is that we're all having smaller scale Thanksgivings. So that inherently means less stress. You don't have to worry about so many people coming over. You don't have to cook a huge, huge array of foods. So inherently, let's just kind of relax a little bit this Thanksgiving. So I know a lot of people have their traditional recipes for their turkey or their sides. So the recipes I have for you today are for the beginning and the end of the meal. So I have an appetizer and then a dessert. I love that. Let's start with the appetizer then too. Yeah. So a huge fan of appetizers. It's my favorite. Good. Well, so let's let's roll it back old school and do a cheese ball because a cheese ball is great because it's so easy to make. You can actually make it today, wrap it all up and put it in the refrigerator and it'll be ready to go for Thanksgiving so that you can snack on while you're watching football, while the turkey is roasting. So the recipe I have is for a bacon ranch cheese ball super easy ingredients and then you can just serve it with some vegetables some crackers and then if you don't finish the whole thing it's not a problem because what you can do is is you can kind of re after you've had some you can reform the ball roll it in some uh, chopped pecans again and it looks like it's brand new so you can serve it again later in the week oh that's awesome lovely i think, yeah, I think a lot balls. of people are intimidated by baking um mm -hmm. and especially dessert so do you have something there yes so i have for you here a one minute pumpkin pie. Okay, this no is the way. easiest pump. Yes, it's the easiest pumpkin pie you're ever gonna make. So here I'm in the blender. <laughs> <laughs> so here in the blender, I have the pumpkin puree, evaporated milk, pumpkin pie spice, all the normal ingredients, and then all you do is just blend it up for one minute. That's it. Okay, so then you have two choices. This is what makes it really exciting if you have a smaller scale Thanksgiving. Once it's all blended in here, you can take it and pour it into just a traditional pie plate, a nine inch pie plate, bake it off in the oven. And when you're done, you have a crustless pumpkin pie. Or there's another oh. option. Take this exact same mix and you can turn it into pumpkin pie cupcakes if you want something smaller. So then all you do is take the same blend, pour it into lined muffin tins, and then you have pumpkin pie cupcakes. Top it all off with some whipped cream, dust it with some nutmeg. Uh, you could even put on some candy pecans. You could put on some pumpkin seeds, whatever you want, and that's it. You're done. Oh, that is so great because it's so easy. That's one of the things I love about the recipes you're sharing, especially because as we've made the point, people are in many cases getting a smaller group together, sometimes even just couples. They're doing something less formal. So I wonder if you have other tips along with those great recipes that are so easy um, to kind of enjoy the holiday Thanksgiving um, without, you know, on a much less grand scale. Yeah, absolutely. Um, one of the things to think about is, is that you're probably going to have more leftovers this year than you might have had in previous years. So plan for leftovers now, you know, gather a couple of recipes that you might want to use and get those ingredients when you do your Thanksgiving shopping or, you know, stock up on some extra, you know, plastic containers and things like that, knowing you're going to have, you know, some extra leftovers. So that's one way that you can you can plan now and it'll have dividends later in the week. And then something else to think about, there are people that might even be having a solo Thanksgiving and then you know doing it via Zoom with their family. So if you're doing that and you still wanna have some of those flavors, make yourself a Cornish game hen. They're like tiny little chickens essentially. So it's like your own little individual turkey. The house will still smell good. You can season it with the same um, seasonings. And that's a way that you can still feel connected to the holiday even if you're by yourself. Christina, I got a question for you. Yeah. Yes or no, are you a fan of beer can chicken? <laughs> oh, absolutely. <laughs> I make beer can chicken all the time. You do? I mean, oh, absolutely. And actually, it's the one thing my dad can actually make too. <laughs> 
I think because men just like something where there's beer involved. Uh, good. But, I just um, want to know when you mention those Cornish hens, I'm all, so yeah. I'm thinking about is the little chicken on the beer can. Well, you need like a tiny little beer can then for a tiny little <laughs> Cornish hen. I know. A little mini Thanks beer. Thanks so much, Christina. Is there anything else that you want to leave us with? You know what? Just enjoy the holiday. It's a stress-free Thanksgiving this year because it's it's scaled down. So, you know, have your have your meal and share it with whoever's right across the table from you or whoever's, you know, on the screen with you. I love that. Thank you so much, Christina. Good Happy to see you. Thanksgiving to you and your Thank family. You. Thanks for the fantastic recipes. I love that cheese ball. I think cheese balls are so cute. I'm so glad she brought back the bacon ranch cheese ball. Yes. Here's the deal. You can be sure to follow Christina on Instagram at Christina Vanny for these dishes. There are three of them that were wonderful and other great recipes too.